Hello my beauties! Welcome to that time of the month. Can you believe it? April has just swum by like it's almost Christmas. It's already like halfway through the year. I cannot believe it. And as usual, there's a ton of products so I'm gonna go straight into it. The very first thing I finished obviously is a makeup remover and this one is the Artistry Essential Eye and Lip Makeup Remover by Mway. Kelly Grace on YouTube Land was very nice to send me a bunch of um, Mway products to try and this was one of the products that I tried first and I was very very impressed. First of all the packaging is very nice, I like the fact that it's got that really nice sort of muted purple cap and second of all it is actually a a by face so it's half oil and half water however it doesn't feel greasy it doesn't feel sticky it removes makeup like a dream it even got rid of like the tacky sticky glue from eyelashes and I was just so impressed by the formula and also by how it feels on the eyes I would actually repurchase this and I actually think I'll recommend this to anyone it's really a really good um, eye makeup remover for its price especially you get a ton of product in here it's actually 120 ml which is four ounces I think if you wear a lot of eye makeup this will be one to go. This is the Tatcha Pure One Step Camellia Cleansing Oil. So you guys probably have seen me use this in my Tatcha skincare routine. I've actually had this for quite a while. I stopped using it for a little while because I have eyelash extensions and when I do I kind of avoid using oily cleansers and, and makeup removers because I don't want it to interact or interfere with the glue on the lashes. First of all I love the scent, I love the packaging, I love how it just makes my skin feel like clean without feeling greasy or oily. It doesn't have any effect on blemishes or acne whatsoever. My only downfall for this one is that it can be a little bit irritating for the eyes. Like it does feel a little bit uncomfortable. So I think just to try and avoid rubbing it and getting it into your eyes. I think especially when it's mixed in with like makeup and things like that. So I still would reuse a eye makeup remover for just the eyes and lips and then this for the rest of the face. The next product I finished is the Shu Uramura Ultimate Remedy Extreme Restoration Duo Serum. As you probably have seen this in my um, last month's favorites, it has literally changed my life. It has made my hair feel super soft, super silky. I think the reason why I finished it so quickly is because I loved it so much that I probably reapplied two or three times a day. I love the fact that it's actually half oil and half um, lotion, like a cream base. So it makes your hair feel moisturized, but not too greasy. And I just love the scent. It's got that aromatic, you know, almost like you're in a spa treatment. My only thing about it is the fact that the packaging is green. I'm not a big fan of this, this green color. But other than that, it's great. It's nice and sleek. Kerastase, um, Chroma Rich. I actually got this a long time ago. I'm not sure if I've actually reviewed this one before, but I have been using Kerastase products for a while. And um, the only thing is that this is also on the pricing end. So it's not something that you would use every day. I just only use this treatment, especially after if I've dyed my hair. It's supposed to be color friendly and help, helps to hold the color. For me, I've never really noticed the color holding much, but it does definitely make the color more more vibrant. The smell is amazing, packaging is great, just the pricing is a little bit high. Moving on to skincare, I finished up the MB Natural Beauty uh, Proportion Cream and this one is also featured in my March favorites. This has been a gone scent. It finishes with like a semi matte finish so I don't have to wait till it gets absorbed into my skin and then apply primer and foundation. I can just put my makeup on straight after and I've been using this day and night so that's why I finished it so quickly as well. I like how the packaging is nice and small so it's definitely travel friendly. A lot of times if I'm wearing no makeup, I will just be wearing this cream and it kind of gives me a little bit of coverage. I recommend this to anyone who has like acne prone skin and wants a moisturizer that can help to balance out this, the skin problems, whether it's you're, you're just too oily or whether your skin's too sensitive. So this is a great product for that. Kate Somerville D-Scar Scar Serum. I've actually bought this a while ago as well and I kind of stopped using it and then I just recently started using it again and then I was like blown, like I was like mind blown, like oh my god, where have you been all my life? So I have noticed a huge difference with this that the next day when I wake up my skin, the pigmentation or the scarring has lightened drastically and it also speeds up the healing process. So I feel like it not only made the color lighter but it also made the scarring less 
um, obvious. The cool thing about it is it has a roller top, but although I don't actually roll this onto my face, because I have scarring all over my face, I actually put it onto my hand and apply that all over my face. But if you only have like scarring on certain spots of your face, then this is great for just to pinpoint that spot. This is the La Roche-Posay Corrective and Unclogging Anti-Imperfection Care. I've always had this for a long time and I think I just kind of forgot about it and I just recently picked it up and realized, hmm, I think it must be uh, out of its usable, usable date. So I'm actually throwing this out even though there's some left. Basically when I was using this I loved it. What it does it helps to improve the texture of your skin. So if your skin's feel a little bit congested and a little bit lumpy and bumpy this is great for just applying all over your face and then next day when you wake up your skin's a lot more smoother and the texture's a lot, a lot more finer. I'm not sure how I feel about this during the day however I definitely think this is more of a treatment that to use at night time. What you could do is you could use the toner and then use the scarring serum and then that as your nighttime moisturizer and the next morning your skin will feel like amazing. The Aveeno Positively Radiant CC Eye Cream and this is in the color Fair to Light and the only reason why I'm throwing this out is because the formula has separated as you can hear it's a lot more watery. What I did I accidentally left this um, on my table which was under direct sunlight and so I feel like it's overheated. So when I first used it, it was super creamy, it was really nice and it felt like second skin and it blended so nicely. This is great for if you want um, a no makeup makeup look. This contains anti-aging properties and also quite moisturizing for the eye area as well. The e.l.f. eyelid primer and this is in the color golden. It's not as blendable. I don't know if it's because I, it's a dud that I got or just I'm not very good with this particular color which is a bit too gold for me. On my hand right now it looks really good but I think on my eyes it doesn't look as nice as, as I would hope it has. This is the Body Shop Tea Tree Concealer in number two and I recently just picked it up because I was like man I really should finish this before it goes off and it's got green tea so it's supposed to be anti um, antiseptic and also helps to blemish control and things like that. I only used it for the texture because when you have blemishes a lot of the liquid foundation or liquid concealers don't give you enough coverage whereas the cream based ones give you a little bit more heavier coverage and that's what I've been using for however the color is a little bit dark for me so what I do is I actually apply this onto my skin first and then I go over with the foundation and I tend to find that that gives me a better coverage that way. The next one is the Clinique Chubby Stick Intense in number one Curvious Caramel. On the lips it's been amazing. The formula is moisturizing. I have been using this like a lip balm and it's really rare for me to like finish a lip product unless I really really like it. It's a color that I would match a lot of my looks with and also it's easier to apply. I like the fact that it's a it's in a chubby stick. I think this is definitely a color that you should try on your lips first because a lot of people might find that a little bit too much but I think it's great for like a no makeup makeup look lip. The last thing I want to talk about is cotton squares like these that you can get from Muji and unfortunately um, we don't have Muji in Brisbane but when I was in Sydney um, for my birthday earlier this year I went to Muji and they have this like huge packet that these squares are not obviously not um, trimmed or tapered. They actually um, are a little bit bigger than the ones I use from Daiso and I feel like these are a lot more softer for some reason. I don't know if it's because of the cotton. So I think that was all of my um, April empties. If you have any questions about any of these products leave your comments below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. I hope you guys enjoyed the month of April and tell me what was your favorite product that you finished this month. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!